When Texas seceded from the Union in 1861, Loretta Valaquez's husband joined the Confederate Army, and undeterred by her husband's refusal, she disguised herself as a man named Harry T. Buford and joined as well. She eventually met up with her husband in Florida several days before his death. After his death, Valaquez headed north, acting as an independent soldier. She joined up with a regiment just in time to fight at the Battle of First Manassas and the Battle of Ball's Bluff. Shortly afterwards, she once again donned female attire and went to Washington, D.C., where she was able to gather intelligence for the Confederacy. Upon her return to the South, Falaquez was made an official member of the Detectives Corps. Resuming her disguise as Lieutenant Buford, she traveled to Tennessee, joining up with another regiment to fight at the Battle of Fort Donelson on February 11, 1862. Valaquez was wounded in the foot, and fearing that her true gender would be revealed if sought medical treatment in camp, she fled back to her home in New Orleans. As luck would have it, she found the regiment she originally recruited in Arkansas and fought with them at the Battle of Shiloh on April 6th and 7th, 1862. While on burial duty, she was wounded in the side by an explosive shell, and an army doctor discovered her true gender. Valaquez decided at that point to end her career as a soldier, and she returned to New Orleans. Not content to sit the rest of the war out, Valaquez then went to Richmond to volunteer her services as a spy. She was able to travel freely in both the South and the North, working in both male and female disguises.